Let's get it! Yo, what up? It's your boy. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to talk about some game for y'all, man. Let's get into it. So, let's talk about letting women raise you up. Letting her game you up. Letting her approach you, bro. What do I mean? So, we know that the chances of this are rare. Women do not typically go up to men and approach them. But that doesn't mean that it never happens. That doesn't mean that it can't happen to you, bro. Let women raise you up. Let them speak game to you. How? Apps or in person? Either one will work. Am I, am I being a choosing signal type of content creator? Nah, 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 nah. But I am saying they're real, and I am saying that they can help you in your advantage, especially on the freaking dating apps. One of the main things that guys always hit me up, when they're, whether it's a consultation, whether it's Camp MIA, which is in-person coaching, is they always say, man, these dating apps suck. Or even in person, I only get choosing signals from fat chicks. I only get choosing signals from chicks that I don't want. My response is, why are you not letting them raise you up? Why are you not letting them spit game to you? It's gonna do something to your confidence, bro. It does something to the environment in general. Let me give you an example. So let's say you're in public, right? Let's say you're in, I'm just gonna use the nightclub or I could even use the gym. Both of these settings are pretty similar because there's a lot of people in there. There's a lot of attractive women in there and just a lot of people in general. If you have a not so attractive chick coming up to you, not only giving you choosing signals, but coming up to you, approaching you, flirting with you, talking to you, which one do you think looks better? The guy that's in there by himself or with other guys, or the guy that's in there and is at least getting some type of attention from women? Which one do you think looks better to other women's eyes? It's always gonna be the guy that's with women. No matter how attractive or less attractive they are, they're going to have this natural instinct. See, women like to play these games. They like to be competitive. They like to feel like they're the top one and that they can get the man. They shysty as hell, in other words. So if they see a chick talking to you, you can play it cool. You can kick back. You can let her raise you. You can let her do favors for you and talk and laugh and be all flirty with you. That don't mean you gotta do the same thing to her. I don't say you need to be disrespectful, but you need to have some strategy when it comes to this game, bro. You need to let them come up to you, hell, buy you a drink, buy you a Gatorade, whatever. Let them do that for you. It's gonna look better to all the other women in the environment. No, I am not saying you need to depend on this. No, I'm not saying that this is always gonna happen. I'm just giving you an example. Now let's talk about the day naps. So many guys, so many guys try to get advice on day naps. And they cool, ain't nothing wrong with the day naps. You know, you gotta know how to work them. I definitely don't think you should depend on them. I think that should pretty much be your last resort. But if you're trying to get your body count up, if you're trying to just expand your game, I understand, I understand. So when it comes to the day naps, bro, a lot of guys hit me up because they don't know what to say. They don't know how to respond. They don't know how to keep the conversation going so that they can get the number so that they can link up with the chick. But they get all these matches from these women that aren't their type, that aren't attractive, that are writing them, that are DMing them. If you don't know what to say, I'm gonna give you guys some game. I'm gonna give you some strategy right here, right now. The next time you're on a day nap, and you start getting these matches from these chicks that aren't necessarily your type. You know, they big girls or they girls that's too far away. You know that you probably won't be able to link up with them. Whatever situation is. I want you to let them riz you up. You don't know what riz means. That means spit game, spit flavor, whatever. Give them the same response that women give you when you try to riz them up on day naps. So they'll typically write you like, hey, Write them back like hi, <laughs> like how these chicks do y'all. They just say hi, they be dry with it. And then they may hit you up with, what are you doing? Or what are you looking for? Or what, what brings you on here? Or what city you in? 
I want you to put your, I want you to swap roles for a second. I want you to put yourself in that same position of what a chick that you're super attracted to, the type of response she would give you, and then I want you to give that same response to the chick that you may not be attracted to on a day nap. Just to see, can she keep the conversation going? Can she keep the flow going? Can she set up a date with you? Can she set up a time to link up with you? Can she set up a way to get your number while you're still giving those same dry ass boring responses that these chicks that you're really interested in will give you? What that's gonna do is it's gonna help you out. You guys don't understand that. Y'all watch all of us dating coaches and all of us guys, but some of the best game you can get, and I'm, I'm willing to admit this, some of the best game you can get is from women because it's the source. But the issue is if you try to get the game from women on women saying, here's the game, here's how you do it to get women, that's not the best aspect. It's the subtleties of it. It's hanging out with women. It's dating women. It's approaching women. It's even being friends with women. It's seeing how women vibe that's going to put you on game. Women can't logically tell you how to be a man or how to approach women because they don't do it. And, and even when they are raising you up, like I said in the beginning of the video, they rarely do it and they're not the best at it, but I guarantee you can learn something from them. You can learn those responses where if she hits you up and says what you doing and then you say nothing chilling, you don't say nothing chilling you, you know how sometimes they hit you with nothing chilling, then she might be like, oh, okay, cool. I like that picture that you got right there. Where were you at in this photo? And it's one of the photos on your app. Or they could write you back and say, oh, okay, that's what's up. What city are you in? When are you typically free? There's so many different random responses that you could get versus you guys hitting me up on the screenshot. And you can always hit me up. Group chat, Patreon, email, however. You, I'm not that hard to reach. But instead of y'all hitting me up like, bro, what should I respond? You can learn a lot of these responses by the chicks that are hitting you up that you may not be that interested in. I'm not saying you need to go all the way with these chicks. I'm not saying you need to give them your number or try to date them and all that. But you can learn some riz if you let women riz you up. Flip the switch. Flip the switch one time for the one time. Why not? You're trying to learn this stuff anyway. And when you do that, guys, I'm telling you, you're going to learn what to say. It's just going to start to come to you a lot more easier, a lot more smoother. You're going to be able to build that conversation and talk that talk like you want to talk that talk. You're going to learn a lot more about it. You're going to have these more witty responses because you've got the development of women risen you up and women are going to notice that. That's the difference between the whole choosing signal aspect. The issue with that is that you're gonna depend on that, you're gonna use that as a crutch, you're gonna wait on that. And honestly, you may get choosing signals and still not approach. And she may not be willing to bridge you up or approach you. So we still wanna go out, take action, make our approaches. But when it comes to getting better at this, Use what you got. Use the resources that are pretty much getting handed to you by letting women riz you up, bro. I'm telling you, this is this is a game that you probably never heard of, but I'm telling you it works. Try it out. Step out the house more, and you will start to notice this happening to you, whether it's online or in person. All right, that's the video for today. Comment what you guys think below. I'm out. Peace.